my first uh, experience came about in uh, a long time ago, maybe uh, 90, 1990, 1991. Uh, a good friend of mine named Mark Sex, we went to high school together in Queens. He had a group, and uh, he really uh, went went all the way to bat for me, this, this young guy who went to school with him, uh, to do the video. And uh, it was two video project and uh, the person in charge was a guy that was a really young, very smart guy by the name of Leo Cohen. And at the time, he was just uh, really in, jumping in with both feet to Def Jam and Rush Management. And him and Russell had this thing. And, you know, it was really my first opportunity to work with people that were in control of the music business. Like, I wanted to be in control of it. So I went and I got involved and I spoke to Leo and I spoke to Russell. And it was, it was like my dream come true, like a young kid getting ready to do his first rap video when all I ever wanted to do was be a part of the rap music industry. So that was, that was really a hit. It was a disaster, actually. I remember finally uh, delivering the video and being so happy and so excited that, that it had, uh, you know, it went as well as it did and taking it up to Leo's office and playing it for him. And, uh, you know, the guy played it and he watched it. And after that, I was supposed to take it with him to Russell's house. And uh, he, he stopped it after it was over and he looked at me and, and you know, he just said, this is the worst piece of shit I've ever seen in my life. And on top of that, you are the worst piece of shit director I've seen yet. And he got on the phone shortly after, while in front of me, to uh, Russell to explain to Russell how bad he thought it was. But uh, to me, that was like a staggering moment and uh, a great moment at the same time. Because when I walked out of that, uh, that office just cr crushed beyond crushed. You know, I said to myself that I was going to be the best I, and I was going to work hard until I got to be the best and that everybody one day would say that, 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 that I, 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 I was the best that there is. Uh, early when, when I started my career, uh, a lot of people were instrumental in helping me get up my feet into the business and they saw that I had potential. People like Russell Simmons and Leo Cohen very early. People like uh, uh, Sylvia Rowan with Electra Entertainment who really thought I had talent and could, could do good things. Um, you know, people like uh, Sean Combs who, who was an intern at the same time I was an intern and we both kind of, you know, really went hard to, to, to say that we had something to offer to the people with our talent. They helped me uh, quite a, a bit in getting my feet off the ground. One other was uh, a guy by the name of Chris Blackwell. His company was Island uh, Records, and he had a, uh, a, a executive that worked there named Judy Troilo. And Judy would expose me on a regular weekly basis to different filmmakers and different commercial and video directors, all from Europe and all, all from overseas that... Uh, that she thought uh, uh, I had the potential to become like. So she really, and Chris's company, really turned me on to a lot of my, uh, uh, the people that I looked up to in music videos, like uh, Stefan said, and we, and, um, uh, you know, uh, Jean Paul Gou, uh, Mandino, people like that who overseas were doing things, Michelle Gondry that I had never seen and I had never heard of these people, but the, what they what they were showing me and what she showed me was just breathtaking. And I just thought, you know, this is what I wanted to do for hip hop. And uh, they were my early, uh, really my early inspiration. It's, it's weird because there is no process. It's almost like uh, every particular project has an identity and a life and a starting point of its own. Sometimes I'll get a phone call from somebody like Buster who has this amazing idea for a song that I've never heard before and we'll love the idea so much we'll talk in great lengths and then when I finally hear the song we start putting it together that way. Other people um, might call me and have no ideas but might have like a, a, a image in mind of just being in the open space or being in the outdoors and then they'll let me hear the song and build it that way. Sometimes there's no idea and I'm allowed to just listen to the song and just invent something that uh, comes from how I feel about what I'm listening to. So it really, for people out there who don't know that, there is no real process. It's, it's almost like it would be bullshit for me to say that there's a way to do it, because there isn't. It's just, it's all 
uh, creative with me, and it's all about uh, uh, each individual, looking at each individual idea or song as its own identity. It just comes as it comes. I think what, 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 if anything, I've been able to do is uh, give hip hop and rap music video size. It didn't really have the size when it started. It kind of was this thing that was very cool and very funky, but it was very small and, and limited in terms of the ideas behind it and the way it looked. And I wanted my music that I love to have this size on, on, on the screen. Like Madonna had when she did a video. She did videos in Italy. It had like a depth to it. It was emotional. Rap videos didn't have any of that. The music was emotional for the youth, but what you saw was very bleak and simple-minded. So if, if, if I can uh, say I did anything, I probably gave it. Uh, I instilled in, in video how I felt about rap music, and I, I just thought it was just bigger than life. I have to say, uh, it's uh, collaborating with the artists. You know, like they're very, uh, there are a lot of great, great people I've worked with over the years. People who have just done things with their music and their talent that, that are legendary. And I, the fact that I get to say that I work with these people and help create something with their music, I feel like I'm a part of it a little bit. I feel like I'm a part of uh, a song when I, I get to create something that the world embraces visually. So that's been the best part, really doing things that um, move the masses with all of these talented people. I'm blessed to be in a, uh, a situation where I can do something that I love to do. I mean, there's nothing bad about that. Everything has its ups and its downs, but you know, I'm, I'm really blessed to be able to, to communicate to the world through uh, my camera. You know, a lot of people don't get that opportunity. Man, I'm just looking forward to uh, just just watching these young guys do their thing. You know, I, I've I've had a great career in it, and I love being a, a part of of the culture permanently. Being you know the, 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 the hip hop culture, and the music culture, but it is a young man's thing, and I think that uh, what I've been able to do is great. And, and the best thing about music and culture, music culture, is that it has to change in the world. So you have to be a uh, you have to be uh, willing to, to, to help cultivate it for the next guy, you know. I think the next era of filmmakers and music video makers and artists, that's what I'm looking forward to.